Hey there friends, I hope that you are having a fantastic day. I'm remembering that on Friday and a lot of times my head goes back to school because uh, not only did I spend like 18 years, well 17 years in school, <laughs> but no that's not right. From 6 to 17 I spent 11 years in school. There we go. And I also spent 10 years as an assistant teacher in the public school system. On Friday, the children were encouraged to bring a show and tell. So I thought that I would do a little show and tell for you guys today. Not anything groundbreaking or spectacular. I just thought you might like to see a couple things that you may not have seen before. I know you guys have not seen this because this is a project that I just finished this morning it is the cover of my new planner i like these 50 cent composition books that you can pick up well i mean they're always fairly inexpensive but right now you can pick them up for like 50 cents at target which is where i got this one but i just finished a little portrait this morning and i framed the portrait I placed it on um, a watercolor background. I have really been longing to, I'm not a watercolorist, <laughs> I'm not a painter, um, but I sure do enjoy the technique and I'm thinking that it might be a fun thing for the rest of the year to just try my hand at it a little more than I do now. I love the Frugal Crafter. She has all kinds of wonderful tutorials about uh, doing watercolors and the cool thing about her watercolors is a lot of them are just four colors which Yay, it's like that take five art thing, you know, that's just five things to work with and I love that pared down version of things So just wanted to show you this. This is my new journal cover um, I also wanted to show you guys now because I'm kind of revisiting the portrait thing right now I have always really, really liked drawing faces. Um, a, a friend of mine blessed me with some Tamara Laporte classes a couple years ago, and then I really got into the whole portrait and shading thing. I've forgotten everything that I've learned except, you know, the basic how to draw a portrait. I also wanted to show you guys a little sketchbook that I am revising because I just loved it so much. I don't have a sketchbook right now. Going into the winter, I really do like to have a sketchbook downstairs and a pencil and, you know, some colored pencils and things like that. But I thought you guys might enjoy just seeing some of my angel drawings. Um, this, this quote by Rumi, something opens our wings, something makes boredom and hurt disappear, someone fills the cup in front of us, we taste, we only taste sacredness, I really love that quote by Rumi, and I don't have, uh, I don't know when I did this one, this one I did in 2017, and she says fearless, another little, I think this was um, Tisha Moore, a little Tisha Moore girl, another little Tisha Moore girl, 2016. And then I have some things that I did uh, again in 2016. I know that I did these when I was at my mom and dad's house and I was visiting my mom. Uh, another little, I call these angel portraits. I used to do one every single morning when I would get up. I would do some sort of angel drawing. And again, you know, it's something that as I'm showing and telling on this Friday, <laughs> like a lot of kids do, it's something that I feel like I would like to revisit. I never thought that, I mean, I'm not, you can look at the portraits and tell that I'm not, you know, I'm not skilled, but I sure do really, really enjoy doing it. Um, I think these are from 2016 as well. This is probably one of the last things that I did, but she was fun too. Um, another angel that says, Thy will be done. You can see how really battered this book is. I was doing some mixed media in here as well. Here we go. That one, again, is from 2017. I think I was playing with markers over here. 
My first lady that had like something in her hair, she was fun. I'm not sure what else is in here. Okay, so see all these blank pages I can fill. Um, this was uh, a fairy that I drew, another little portrait. Okay, these don't have anything. So something to kind of revisit, you know, my little sketchbook. One of the first things <laughs> I ever made was this junk journal. I made it out of painted paper that I had on my desk. And I also took that painty paper and made rolled paper beads, which turned out really, really fun. So I just wanted to take you through that real quick. This, one of my very favorite papers to work with ever in the whole wide world in the, you know, six years I've been doing this is a paper bag. I really do like paper shopping bags. I did a little bit of sewing over here. This says fun. And then junk mail. Just plain junk mail pieces. Did some little tags over here. I think I was experimenting with some stencils here. More tags right there. An in and out burger. I think they all no, they don't just have those in California, but there are none on this side of the country, I don't think. Um, more paper, this book just desk paper that I stamped. I really love the way this turned out because I put I put a Christmas photo of the Christ child um, behind the vellum of an envelope, that clear vellum stuff, an window envelope. More tags. Love that picture of the guy. And this came together really, really fast. And I bound it really fast. I mean, I probably did it like in maybe an hour it took me to do it. But it's one of the most organic, soul-filled things that I've ever done. I really do love it. Uh, last but not least, if you guys are at Publix... They have their summer publication for, they call it aprons, which is event planning. And since it's the end of summer, I'm pretty sure they're just getting rid of these things. You guys, it's so pretty. It is, um, the paper is almost like, um, oh, there's a magazine that has this kind of paper. I can't remember the name of the magazine. But it is just, the paper is awesome. I love, <laughs> love food photos. I'm not much into food, but I really do love the photography. just think it's so pretty. So I wanted to uh, just let you guys know that if you go to Publix, that this is a publication now at Publix. It's at the front of the store. I plan to use this for flow journals. I just think it's super neat. I love, love the food pictures in it. Now, this does make me hungry because that's lobster. I would love, ooh, that makes me hungry too. And that makes me hungry too. Now I want to go downstairs and have like an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> I really love the very last, um, you know, the very, very last um, photo spread here because it's all white and then it has notes on it. It's cool because it, it's, it looks like somebody's eaten off the plates, which I just think is really, really neat. Okay, guys, thank you for hanging out with me this week. Um, I will hopefully talk to y'all real, real soon. Take care of yourselves. Talk to you later. Bye.